What is up, everybody? Um, Dito's here again. Uh, I don't know why my character's eyes are closed for that long a while, uh, but we are uh, going over a few more commands today, uh, and it's going to be about protecting your spawn from mobs. So, in my protecting spawn video, we make it to where when you spawn in, you have weakness. So. If a mob was to spawn in your spawn, like a creeper, and kill somebody because they're defenseless, uh, that would kind of be on us. So what this command block does here, it is one command block, and it despawns every mob, like it, it, just, it just kills every mob as soon as they spawn inside of uh, your spawn radius. So. If you don't want like zombies and stuff spawning inside of your spawn, this is a one way to kill them. Now I also have it set to uh, where it doesn't kill wolves or cats, so if anybody has a pet wolf with them, uh, it will not kill it. So let's actually grab a spawn egg for a zombie and a spawn egg for a wolf, and we'll grab a bone, but first let's show you all the command. now. Be very careful when typing in kill commands because if you end up killing yourself over and over and over and over again, uh, you're gonna have a rough time. Uh, the only way I can tell you how to fix that is to hopefully somehow get out of the loop of dying um, and just slash, like trying to delete the block, I guess. Uh, slash fill air blah 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 but uh, this command is slash kill at E which is all entities all entities so um, you are an entity now when I type this when I, sla when I slash killed all entities earlier just slash kill all entities it didn't kill me and I think it's because I was being creative uh, but don't take my word on it just do slash kill all entities um, a bracket kind of like it's not a parenthesis it's a it's a bracket I guess and we're gonna do type equals um, exclamation point player um, now if you all, if you didn't want people to have wolves and spawn and all that kind of stuff you could just type in player and then at the end of player you just type uh, a comma and then do R for range equals uh, 200 or whatever your spawn is the radius of your spawn is. So my radius of my spawn is 200, so I'd like that on my party. I know I shouldn't have made a party, but um, anyway, uh, the radius equals 200 for my spawn, so that's why my radius is like that. But uh, if you do want a wolf pet to be able to go into spawn, uh, it you just type that in. There's, you can actually change it to where only certain mobs get killed, um, but I don't really know like the code for every single mob in the game. So I would just look that up if y'all are looking to maybe just despawn endermen or just despawn creepers and endermen so that, because those are like the really two things that can like pick stuff up, I guess. So if you still wanted, if you wanted mob griefing turned on, you could uh, do this for your spawn and just have it to where it only ki uh, it kills every no it doesn't kill anything but creepers now I do know that there's like all the mobs in the game um, so yeah and that's including pillagers which is uh, vindicators all that kind of stuff but I doubt those will be spawning in your spawn so the main ones you have to worry about is creepers, zombies, that kind of stuff. But this is how uh, I'm killing all the mobs in my area so people don't have to fight mobs while they are uh, in my spawn because they have super weakness and everything. But if I was to try to spawn a zombie, it would instantly die. Uh, but yeah, that's a, they just instantly die. Um, even skeletons, everything. 
but wolves, since we have uh, the exclamation point uh, type equals exclamation point wolf, it is killing everything except for a wolf and a cat. So if somebody has a cat with them to take to the PvP zone to keep creepers away, because I'm gonna I'm gonna allow uh, all mobs to spawn in the PvP zone when it's nighttime. See, look, something just despawned over there. But uh, the dogs are gonna be okay. And even when you tame them, they are still good. Now, I'm sorry for doing this part, but, uh, I'm sorry, pupper. Gotta go. Don't judge me. <laughs> but, okay, um, now what this also does is despawns, um, any items that you throw to the ground, uh, before I forget to mention that. So, if anybody gets past your defenses and is able to kill people in spawn they're not going to gain anything now you will have to spawn you know your person's stuff back in if you want or just be like I'm sorry bud uh, let me just refund you you need to just add them like give them some money but uh, when I throw the sword on the ground it, it'll just disappear as it leaves my hand so gone nowhere it's not around same with the bone same with the wolf thing, and same with the zombie. But this is everywhere. This is um, in my shop, in my spawn, and uh, in my, don't judge this, I copied and pasted uh, <laughs> these. I'll probably do a video on that too, uh, because if you, oh god, if you <laughs> can't tell, I copied and pasted them perfectly in line with each other. Uh, th those blocks is how I did it. So I'm going to leave them there until I like make a video. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, what we're going to be looking at is in here. Um, how my spawn is set up is that you're in adventure mode whenever you are here. Um, now, I know I did this in another video, which was the currency generator. But this is an even better way to do it. I found this out afterwards. I was just playing around with them. And uh, the two people that are offline, um, both of them were playing in the world today, and some of them were like teleporting back and forth, um, and they weren't actually, uh, what am I trying to say? Like one of them would teleport, but they wouldn't get switched to survival, and that's when like it kind of sucked. And when I made my Sky Islands, I didn't want to have a pressure plate on the actual island because they could just break the pressure plate and be like, you know, oh, I need a new pressure plate, I broke mine, blah, 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 and that, that can get annoying for me. So, um, when, when you actually spawn in my spawn, uh, we'll go there right now. We have to leave our door open because our island is unlocked, but let's go ahead and jump into our spawn. We get potion effects. Now this matters because if I don't have a potion effect, um, the command block before the teleport is not going to send a redstone signal to the teleport command block. So this also gives me, uh, what you call it. So if I, settings, venture, creative, if I give myself a milk bucket, I cannot teleport. Which means that if anybody is actually kit like trying to kill people and they're able to hit people inside your spawn, they're cheating. Uh, they are cheating some way, so you can go ahead and set them back to visitor and they can't do anything. Um, but so this right here is going to give me a effect, a potion effect, and then it's going to send me to my island. So here's how we're going to do it. So this also gets rid of buckets because this is um, where my people spawn when they come back from their island. So we have this potion effect, and now when we press this, we're going to get spawned on our island, and we can now break blocks because we're no longer in adventure mode. And we can place blocks too. So this is how my survival, like uh, my sky block is going to work. Now I know you're like, well why the heck, I'm just going to be able to go over there and raid them people, but uh, you actually can't. Um, I have... I have barrier blocks. Placed. So, anyway, um, this island, if I go to the right, I have uh, my people, once you spawn on your island for the first time, 
you have to build over to here to get back to the shop. I know it kind of seems kind of grindy, but I want people to actually um, play for a long time instead of just jumping in and being OP and running around. I know that stuff's kind of fun, but I want people to like build up their islands and stuff. I want it to be like, I want it to be fun in that kind of sense. Like build up your island, get stuff, go to the PvP zone and fight and all that kind of stuff. So this is going to send us back to that block with the uh, thing on it. I didn't shut my island door, but yeah. Now let's go ahead and look at the actual commands here. Um, Y'all already seen the, uh, the command to get the potion effect in the last one, but what this, what these three are doing, what these three are doing here is, uh, I had these backwards the first time. I had it teleport, uh, potion effect, and then game mode, because I thought that my spawn would immediately switch the person back to adventure mode before they teleported, but you teleport so fast that it doesn't matter. So this command block is switching our game mode to survival as we teleport. Now they will not be teleported if they don't have a potion effect, but there's no way to not have a potion effect in my server because I'm always getting rid of buckets. When you come back from your island you immediately lose your bucket when you step on that. So um, this one is setting your game mode to survival. This one's setting your uh, potion effect to clear, like to where you don't have any potion effects, so you can actually build and then fight on your island if somebody comes in after you. And this one's just teleporting you there. So if you don't want an actual pressure plate outside of your spawn that you have to like step on every time, then that would be the way to do it. So yeah, that is how I'm protecting my spawn even better than last time. Sorry to like. Uh, like the way I did it last time still works. You could have just like a pressure plated area, you know, um, outside your spawn just to get out of adventure mode because you need a command block to get back into survival because that's just how it is right now. Something spawned and got killed. But uh, yeah, that's how it's working. That's just my test island for testing stuff. And I got it working how I want it to. So that's how my stuff is working. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, thank you guys for watching, and hopefully uh, I will be making another tutorial very soon on actually copying and pasting, which is with the slash clone command. Um, it was kind of weird, actually, because you have to be in an exact spot. Like, you have to have the exact... Um, stuff but yeah I'll show you that in the next video so thank you guys for watching and I hope that y'all enjoyed uh oh I forgot to show you that uh, whenever you spawn a zombie like um I forgot to show you um that your zombie outside of the radius will actually spawn now he's dying because of daylight not because I'm just immediately killing him but uh yeah so boom there you go a live mob so you can leave now so oh i have a uh, weakness you see i didn't teleport over here this is my test island but yeah he died and uh you can also throw your stuff on the ground so yeah trading in my server is going to be on people's islands so trade at your own risk but uh now goodbye